Walsh, uh, you were the last person to sit down with Victor Boot for an interview. I've seen your interviews. He, he denied in those interviews uh, that he was guilty of the crimes he was charged with. He called them BS. Fact is, though, those crimes were well documented. Tell us more about him. Yeah, look, I mean, there's what he eventually found himself extradited to the United States from Thailand for, which was a complicated sting put forward by the DEA, US agents who were pretending to be Colombian terrorists and got Victor Boot to essentially agree to supply them with a high-tech high weaponry. That led to a lengthy extradition battle that got him extradited to the US, that led him to be convicted and put into a US jail. And then there's the career history, which is an extraordinary litany of crimes that Victor Boot has denied. And they involved the proliferation of small arms, heavy arms across Africa during some of the nastiest wars there of the 90s and the early 2000s and other accusations of arms trading. Frankly, you name it, in the 90s and early 2000s, if there was a war, there were accusations that Victor Boot may have been involved supplying what the West would have considered to be the wrong side. He always denied that entirely. But Jim, that was the extraordinary uh, paradox here. Why is a man who says he's basically just an innocent pilot and a businessman shipping foodstuffs or other materials around the world, why is he of such extraordinary value to Moscow? A man that they spent uh, thousands of us seemingly assisting his defence here and there, trying to get him back over the past decades, and now at a time of the worst relations between Moscow and Washington, possibly since the Cuban Missile Crisis, you might argue, this remarkable deal where a high-profile American held by Russia is switched for a possibly higher profile in the mind of Russians, Russian in Russian, um, in American custody. That's quite extraordinary. The broader theory about who Victor Boot really was in the past is Perhaps he was a man close to Russian intelligence. Again, he denies it. Perhaps he knew people who went on to be senior in Vladimir Putin's circle. He may have had information on them. That was another theory, again, that he denied. And so a man clearly of massive value to the Kremlin. They're obviously back, uh, glad to have him home. Uh, but one whose real past has never been truly elucidated. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's bugged out, man. So they basically traded... Um, that alphabet chick grinner for this guy, all right? That's why, you know, America's soon going to be just, it really is circling the drain, man. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harachakwadash, to belong to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Millstone to rule well and teach well. This brother, Yahweh Shai Zion, is going to do this really quick. Um, lesson and bring this out so it says here on the surface Brittany Grinner and Victor Boot or Bout are accused of ludicrously different crimes you see and what does the Lord say about this a false balance is an abomination to the Lord okay because it's definitely not tit for tat here you know what I'm saying because one is an arms dealer and the other one's just an alphabet person that yeah, looks like an orangutan, you know what I mean? A big, large Sasquatch-looking orangutan at that. Who's <laughs> an alphabet person. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know, and the Lord said, man, and a sorcerer. So the Lord says in the scriptures, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, which we already know she does witchcraft, you know, sorcery, um, you know, doing weed and whatever, THC or whatever she doing. He, she, whatever that, whatever that it is. <laughs> um, it's wild, man. It says Grinner was sentenced uh, to a Russian penal colony for possession of a single gram of cannabis oil. Bout is allegedly the most prolific arms dealer of the past decades, fueling conflicts in Africa and beyond, and more specifically, being convicted in a U.S. court of plotting to kill Americans. So, you see what's going on? So basically, America thought that it was more important to get the alphabet person out of that jail and give this convicted person who was a basically who was a threat to their country and supposedly the world. Right. This is all allegedly now because we don't have the fine print and the details, you know, but this that's the alleged circumstances. Does that sound like some fair trade, man? That's why, like I said, man, the Lord is going to destroy all these people, man. He's going to destroy all these people. And we got the right to judge them, man. 
So where should we go here? Let's see. First and foremost, let's talk about this person's lifestyle, all right? That Grinner woman or thing, whatever it is. Uh, you know, because we don't know what is going on with that, man, you know? We know that she's wicked, though, if, she's, if it's a she. You know, Romans 1 and 26 says, for this cause, excuse me, let me go to verse 25. Or 24, rather. It says, Wherefore, the Heavenly Father also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, which is their mind, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Right. Because that brings great dishonor upon you to be an alphabet person. Okay? If you're an alphabet person, man, you're a dishonorable person. Bottom line. You know, you're not supposed to be... Um, Dealing with the same sex, all right, according to the scriptures, because that's confusion and it is not pro life, okay? No way, <laughs> no way, dog. So, anyways, this is um, verse 25 who changed the truth of the Heavenly Father into a lie and worshiped and served the creature. More than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Okay. And that's why exactly they would want to worship each other, worship their own ideas, even worship themselves. You know, men shall in the last days, men shall be lovers of their own selves. And that's exactly what people are now. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, um, you know, TikTok now is even even more raging out of control with the the self-glorification to the highest level, man. Verse 26, it says, um, For this cause, the Heavenly Father gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Okay? So that was against nature. And if you go into these precepts and scriptures, Okay? Leviticus 18 and 22 through 28. This is the law. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomin it is abomination. Okay? So clearly, man, a man, as he lays down with a woman, to have intercourse, he's not supposed to be doing that with another man, according to the scriptures. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therein. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusion. Right, so that's that's confusing, you know, and that's evil. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. Right, so that's what would happen. You'd be cast out. The Lord's not going to accept you if you're doing shit like that, man. You know? And just because you get freed from prison or whatever... That lady Grinner, she still got to deal with the Lord, man. You know, you're not out yet, man. All right. You're still in this chain of darkness called the flesh. And you got to deal with the sentence that you, you're going to be sentenced from the Lord. Verse 25, it says, and, uh, and the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants. Ooh, damn. There's going to be a lot of people being destroyed, man, and killed. Verse 26, it says, Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your nation, nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you, and the land is defiled. That the land spew not you out also when ye defile it as it spewed out the nations that were before you. Right. So that's the reason why, you know, the Lord gave uh, the land of Canaan onto Abraham, man. Huh? Because they were committing abominations and, you know, Abraham was his guy. You know, the righteous line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on down, Okay. Through the line of David, through Yahweh Shai, all right, a line of David, Solomon, and all the way down through Yahweh Shai. 
all right? And then, you know, obviously, that diaspora, you know, that, that was going to happen ultimately due to what? Committing abominations, all right? Worshiping strange gods, things of that nature. The Lord is not tolerating that stuff, man. And that's why he's going to be jacking people up. And it's just bugged out, man. Deuteronomy uh, 23, 17, and 18. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord. Oh, man. Thy power for any vow. For even both these are abomination unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. Yeah, and that's another thing too, you know. They bring a lot of these ideas and things in the church. Just like that dumbass, goofy, so-called in-name only pastor. I think it was Jamal Bryant. This guy's talking about marijuana and shit like that, man. And that puts an effeminate spirit on you, man. The spirit of a sodomite on you, man. You know, but sure does have you goofy as ever. You know, right? And that's wicked, you know. And, and women also be uh, becoming harlots over marijuana, man. You know, so he's trying to draw in a bunch of evil spirits into the so-called churches, man. You know, which those are not really churches. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. See? And it even goes even further. Let's go into that. Let's go even further. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Okay, so you have to repent of that madness. If you're doing homosexual acts or lesbian acts, you know, here in America, you need to repent, man. All right, and you need, you better hope the Lord forgives you because honestly, that's a sin committed onto death, like the scripture said earlier, man. You know, now this place, of course, they're unfit to lead. All of these so called American people, they're unfit to lead. But we know that the Lord, you know, sanctioned this, man. That they're supposed to lead. Okay? Uh, even though they're unfit. And that's why people are uh, mourning. Okay? Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See what I'm saying? In authority, the... People, I uh, believe it's mourn. Okay, there it goes. Yep. Proverbs 29 and 2. This is how you know that, you know what I'm saying? Because we're mourning right now. I'm mourning, you know, the loss of, you know, a lot of people to, uh, you know, really their minds to the ways of America. You know what I'm saying? Even a lot of my family have turned into absolute bug outs, man. And I can no longer associate with them. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord said that he called you out of the world, man. And you can't be partakers of uh, these people. Really, you can't be uh, keep company with those people, man. You know, who hate the Lord. Proverbs 29 and 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay? And like I said, I'm in mourning because a lot of my family, you know, they're, they're lost in, in the sauce 100%. They would never receive this gospel, the good news of Yahweh Shai coming back to put righteousness on the earth. They would never receive the gospel of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. It's crazy. And, and just to say it like that, and this is tr pure truth, and you brothers all sympathize with that. You empathize with it, man. You feel that pain and you understand the plight because that's the same th shit that you go through, man. Your family's just not going to receive this word. And they're just not going to jump on the line with you and preach the scriptures with you and have your back. They're not going to accept Yahweh Shai being a so-called black man. They're not going to accept that his name is not Jesus Christ. Jesu Cristo. They're not going to accept that the Lord is not a so-called white man with a stringy long hair. 
They're not going to accept that when you actually look at the real depiction of the Russian icons, book or whatnot, back in the day. It predates a lot of these fake ass, stupid ass drawings of him um, looking like, uh, you know, like I said, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, man. You know, the Lord's not going to deal with that. You know, that's why we're in mourning. We're in mourning right now. Okay, so it says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So again, we're not we're not happy, man. And it's all good because what's the scripture say again in um, the Beatitudes, right? <laughs> Matthew 5 and verse number 3. It says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs are the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. It says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. All right. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Okay. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And yeah, and, and you obtain mercy a lot of times by being charitable, because that's really what mercy is. You know, having charity, pity on people and helping them and being sympathetic and empathetic to the plights of other men, especially other brothers. You know, especially to those to the household of faith. All right. So while everybody's all worried about goddamn Brittany Grinner, you know, we're sitting here mourning that this person is being let free, man. Why would you let free a sorcerer, uh, uh, sodomite? You know what I'm saying? Somebody's committing sodomy and laying with womankind, you know, and when she's a woman, so it's, it, that's going off. It's going off, man. Burning with lust to her married. She's married to another woman. And they accept that stuff out here, man. So, Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to destroy people like that. And he's going to take out America, pursuant to Revelation, the 18th chapter. Okay? And we just going to have to praise the Lord on that, man. Say again, man. Look, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Harakakadash. This is your first time watching the channel. Repent for the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is at hand. Shalom.